Okay, guys. Uh, welcome, welcome back to one more class. And uh, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about something because now we have a lack of attendance. I don't know why. I don't know what happened with some of your classmates. I don't know what happened. You have. Oh, Nelson. Oh, aquí está una descripción que nos ponía Nelson Rutilio con respecto al, a los saludos. Uh -huh. eh, y buenas noches después de las 17 a las 18 horas, dice. Good night, siempre estoy ya para despedirse y no como saludo, dice. Uh -huh. ese, es el, ese es el contexto que se, que se maneja, ¿verdad? Pero en... en En mi, en mi caso, pues, yo lo tomé así, o sea, más aplicado al área que, 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 más aplicado al área, pero, como bien dicen, ¿verdad? Cada quien, este, se, se acopla como mejor le parece, ¿verdad? Malo no está, o sea, pero la región es la que no, hace más, la región hace más with, with, with the country, right? Ok, let's start with today's class. Let's move to, let me check. Oh, I didn't hear. <laughs> um, okay. Now, now, now we have it on the screen, right? Okay, guys. Let's start with today's class and the section two. Uh, no sé quién me podía re revisar su micrófono, que lo tiene todavía este encendido, que se escuchan muchos ruidos como de, de niño. O oh. va, gracias, gracias, gracias. Muy agradecido, ¿verdad, chicos? Este, siempre al momento de participar, ¿verdad? Hemos dicho de que ahí encendamos el micrófono para, porque hay veces que o tal vez quiere participar uno así y eso no, no. No se escucha, ¿verdad? Pero bueno, les agradezco mucho. Eh, welcome to section two, right? To the second topic of the module. Eh, it is called, how do you spend your day? How do you spend your day? The six worst job in the United States based on salary, stress, number of hours, working condition, and security. Here we have a timing line that start with the bad jobs and to the worst jobs. And first we have fisherman, then we have a taxi driver, a cowboy, construction worker, dancer, and lumberjack. And from this one that we have, from this six that we have right here, which one do you think is the worst job? In this case, it is mentioned or we are making emphasis to the United States, not to our region or to our country. We are focused specifically in the US. Which one can you tell me? Uh -huh. Which one, guy? Which one, guy? Okay. Uh -huh. Construction worker. Why? Why, Flor Floricia? Mm. I will help you. I will help you. I will help you. Es, es muy cansado. It's so hard. It's so tired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Demasiado, pienso yo. It's too hard. Podríamos yeah. llamarlo de esa manera. Es demasiado difícil. O oh, it yes. might be so tired, muy cansado. Uh, but you, well, from the one that have an idea about this job in the U.S., they are well paid, right? Uh, the fisherman, um, I don't think so. Uh, the lumberjack, they 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 are well paid. These guys are well paid. The dancer, I have no idea because I don't I don't have friends in the U.S. that 
they work as a dancer. And guy boy, I don't have no one. Uh, <laughs> like a cowboy friend. Taxi driver, yeah. Is the salary is like a like a intermediate income, yeah, for for the majority of the people. And well, here we have some question, right? <clears throat> About this job. And the topic and refer to the topic. How do you spend your day? While we are making emphasis, how do you spend your day? Can someone tell me how what do you understand about this topic? How do you spend? How do you spend? Oh, it's English Miranda to how do you spend your day? Como pasa su día o como en buen español, cómo lo aprovecha, ¿verdad? That's why I make emphasis in jobs, in different jobs, right? Because my person work as a teacher, I don't know the word of the other ones. Uh, okay. I don't know the, the word of the other one. Um, I have a problem with my internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm watching here some, some, some message, right? Don't worry for that. Don't worry for that. Oh, we skip something very important. But no, no, no. We're gonna do it at the end of the class. The attendance, the attendance. Okay. Here we have some questions. Uh, which jobs are dangerous? Why? We can take. From example, the one that we have here. Which jobs are dangerous? Why? What we can understand about this? The lumber oh. job. Mm -hmm. Lumber or lumber? No, you can choose whatever of this one. Because the question said, which jobs are dangerous? Why? What can you understand with this question? Mm -hmm. What do or what you can infer about this word? Dangerous. Uh, the police officer. Dangerous? Uh, yeah. Es algo peligroso. Por eso un policía. <laughs> no, 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 uh, the meaning of the word, right? We were, we were referring to the <laughs> meaning of the word. <laughs> the fire no, for no, her. No, uh, what, what, Nelson? Uh, fire, fire for her. Uh, firefighter. Uh -huh. A bombero. Uh -huh, uh, a fire, a fireman. Uh -huh, a fight. Uh, a fight fighter, uh -huh. whatever it might be, some other called fireman, fire guy, uh, electrician, electrician, because you can get electrocuted by the electricity. <laughs> that is almost a little bit dangerous because I had experienced that with electricity at home, <laughs> and those shocks that are that, that you feel on your body are <laughs> tremendous, are tremendous. Let me tell uh, you. Uh, what? Busher or busher? Uh, dangerous. What do you so, yeah, a busher. Well, a busher. Yeah, uh, what do you say, Carnicer? Yeah, a busher, but do you think that a busher is a dangerous job? Yes, yes, because he, he was uh, a cut. Ah, cut the, because the they, work with, they work with knife. Connect. <laughs> oh, you, you 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 consider that uh, that word is dangerous because they work with knife and cutting meat. Uh, it might be, but you can just get caught with a knife if you. Uh, I don't know if you put your hands without notice. But how you? Oh, notice put, that... put, put his his finger. It's dangerous. Oh. Or maybe with the machine, right? The machine that ah, they have. Yeah. yeah. 
but that, that's why they have a special growth made from uh, a, a kind of 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 iron. They uh, yeah, there is uh, I don't know if you have seen them in, in the supermarket. They were iron gloves in one house in order to avoid being put by the by the machine in which they are uh, working. Yeah, that, that yeah. Let, let let's uh, let's call it that is a dangerous world due due to that kind of things. Uh, well, someone else can tell me Nelson Rutilio, which which job you already mentioned? Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Don Nelson. Hi, teacher. Which job did you mention about dangerous job? Um, you to, you told me one. You told me one. Or I have hair back. Um, no. Um, but from, from this one that we have here, which one do you consider that might be a dangerous job? <laughs> A fisherman, taxi driver, cowboy, construction worker, uh, dancer, or lumberjack? Construction wor worker. Yeah, it might be one. Construction worker, right? Construction uh, worker. And why? Because um, they work with heavy things, and that might be dangerous if one of them falling down, and you can get crabbed by, by something heavy, right? By a piece of by a piece of iron or a piece of concrete, you don't know why, or maybe by a homer that, that someone lets fall down and uh, we we don't know accident accident can happen at war, yeah. And uh, let's go with the second one. What's your opinion? Which job do you think is the worst? Which job do you think is the worst? Uh, what's your opinion? Which job do you think is the worst? Aha, uh -huh, guys. Uh, Ana Graciela, could you tell us which job do you think is the worst? Mm -hmm. Oh, construction worker. Fi fire construction worker. De los que están ahí. Yeah, we can use this one. De los que están ahí, pues, el lumberjack. Ah, uh, lumberjack. Lumberjack, sí. Lum lumberjack, lumberjack, ok. Lumberjack. Por el tipo de maquinario. Por tipo de maquinaria. Sí. Uh -huh. They use a saw in order to cut the trees. It's not necessary to use the saw. Uh, the problem with the lumberjack might be that if they cut the tree in a bad angle, maybe the tree can fall over them and you can even die or you can get hurt uh, seriously mm, near to the death. Uh, because as uh, you already know, trees are very heavy, right? That might be uh, something something dangerous. And uh, what about two other jobs that might be you consider are the worst or are difficult jobs? Electrician. Electrician, yeah. Electrician. Wash his uh, bathroom. <laughs> what? Oh, el wash his bathroom. No, no, le, no, le, no, no, I couldn't hear you. Wash well. his bathroom. What? Uh, could you tell Watch me the <laughs> Lava baño. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Sería como cleaner, uh, limpieza? Uh, the cleaner. The cleaner. Uh. Uh -huh, the cleaner, or you can call it the, uh, in some cases, the janitor. Janitor is applied in the school, but the cleaner is applied on, on, on most in hospital and some other different area. But in general. Is... 
Yeah, the cleaner is more general because uh -huh. it, it, it's 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 more it's a little bit wider the the term cleaner. He can charge of everything of of mopping the floor, cleaning the bathroom, and cleaning the mess that you left behind in the bathroom, <laughs> all that kind of thing. Taking uh -huh. taking the garbage out, or all of that. Yeah. All of that, the cleaner. Oh and the janitor is only applied for the school. Okay, well, let's continue. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clean, clean buildings. Sorry? Clean bu buildings. Oh, uh, build, no. The. Quiere decir como el que construye edificio, don Nelson? O oh, el que limpia edificios. Eh, pero en qué aspecto, don Nelson? Porque eh, la parte podríamos... de los, la parte de los, los ventanales, los, oh, los, los... We, window cleaners. Window cleaners. Uh -huh. Ajá. Oh, yeah. okay. They are the person that are hang up uh, with with outside. Uh, some, uh, outside with some kind of elevator or some others are hang up with ropes. But I consider it's more dangerous being hanging up with rope because the machine, the elevator that some company, some building has, and are safer as than than the than the rope. But that is that depends of the on the building, how it was built, or maybe in the company, how they work. Yeah. In in this case, several things are involved. Several things are involved. Okay, war powder. Complete war map with jobs from the list. Here we have office war. What can you understand or what can you infer about office work? Office work. Office work. Trabajo de trabajo de oficina. No, no. Just, just we are talking about here with the meaning of the word. Office work, trabajo de oficina. Travel industry. Industria de viajes. Ajá, eso, eso, eso. eso. Food, food service. Servicio de comida. Eso, eso. Entertainment business. Y negocios de entretenimiento. Or servicios de entretenimiento. Bis entertainment business. Mm -hmm. Bye. What are we going to do right here? We are going to... With this, word, with this word, we are going to put in the category in that they belong. What about the cashier? With, to which category do you think belongs? Office work. Office work. Office work. Office serving. Uh, office work, right. The cashier. Website designer. Uh, sorry, Amanda? Website designer. Mm, designer. Website where, where, where? designer. In office work. Oh, no, no. We are in order, uh, uh, Armando. Just we one? Are, we are in order. Cashier. Uh, we already mentioned office work. Chef. Full service. Full service. Full service. 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 Right. right. Company director. Office office work. 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 What, a, what hmm? about dancer? Entertainment, Entertainment business. business. Entertainment business. What about a flight attendant? Travel industry. Travel industry. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have an idea what this means? Flight attendant. La hermosa. La hermosa. La hermosa o de Facebook. Auxiliar de vuelo. Auxiliar de vuelo o sobrecargo. En some other countries. Yeah. Musician, to which category do you think belong? Entertainment business. Entertainment business. Uh, what about pilots? Travel industry. Travel industry. What about receptionists? Office, office work. work. Oh, oh, oh. Office work. Thank you, guy. What about a server? 
Full service. What about the singer? Entertainment business. What about tour guy? Travel industry. Travel industry. What about website designer? Office work. Office work. Right, guys. You did great. But let's mention two more uh, jobs about the category that we already mentioned. Which one we can add to, to those ones? Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one? Which one? Um. Mm -hmm. uh, what about waiters? To which category? Food service. You... Food service. Thank you, Henry. Food service. Food and, service. Uh, actors. Uh, I couldn't uh, hear um, you. Act actress. 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 In the actress. entertainment business. Entertainment business. Thank you, Henry. What about travel industry? Do you think a driver applies in the travel industry? A driver? Um. A driver applies in the travel industry. A driver, industry. a travel industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, apply because the travel industry is not only on the air, it also apply in motion, on roads, and it, it applies here as a driver. Okay, let's finish right here. Continue. Okay, speaking word and places are two different things. Words and word places, two different things, right? Here we have some example. Here we have the column A, column B, and column C. If you can see, we have a little bit example right here. What are we going to do? We're going to we are going to match the section A with the B and edit with the section C. Here we have the first example. A salesperson. We match it with the column B. A salesperson match with cell clothes because and uh, doesn't match with sell passenger, go full, answer the phone, care for Care, sorry, care for patients and build houses. A mm -hmm. person, applause, sell clothes. And in the column C, in a department store. What does mean? Department store, el área de ventas. El área de ventas. Okay, let's, let's talk about a chef. Let's match chef. it with the co column B. Cooks food. Good food. food. Right. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. In a restaurant. Yeah. Thank you, guys. What about a flight attendant? Service passengers. Server passengers. Server passengers. Passengers. For an airline. For an airline. For an airline. For an airline. Airline. Correct. What about a receptionist? Answer, where, where yes. the phone? Answer, Answer the phone. phone. Answer the phone. On the Answer office. The phone. In, in, an in, office. In, in, in an office. In an office. In an office. Yeah. In an office. We have an article. We have the article and we have the article A. In an office. And what about a nurse? There's for patients. There's for patients. In a hospital. In a hospital. In a hospital. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Now we Miss, gonna... Miss Juan. Sorry? Miss, Miss Juan, carpenter. A carpenter. A carpenter. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. We miss, we miss Juan. The carpenter. The house. With houses, with houses. 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 houses, for a construction, a construction company. company, construction company. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, who would like to help me with the with these two examples? 
we already see the how the structure of this three column works. We are going to create an example similar to this one. We are going to select uh, the profession of the person, uh, what this person does, and the other one might be or will be the area in which this person works. Profession, what is this person does, and the area in which work. Okay. Me, teacher. Oh, Henry, thank you for helping me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mention what? A teacher. Henry? A teacher? What about a the teacher? Area? Teaches uh, boys. Uh huh. Teaches boys. Uh huh. In a school. In a school. Thank you, Henry, for understanding that and helping. What about Daniela? Do you mind if you help us with one example similar to the one that Henry already mentioned? Don't worry if you make mistake, Daniela. We are going here for helping you. Estamos para ayudarle, ¿verdad? Ese es el trabajo de nosotros. Si nos equivocamos o tenemos dudas, el trabajo de nosotros es siempre respaldarles en todo lo que se les pueda con ustedes. A ver, Daniela, let's do it. Eh, teacher, eh, me puede repetir, please. Okay. Eh, did you hear the example that Henry tell us, right? Eh, the one that he was mentioned. Here we're going to, not from this uh, profession, we're going to select another one. Uh, we, I'm going to give you like a synonym. We work with nurse. Someone related to the health uh, area or the one that works in hospital, who might be? Uh, beside the nor, who else might work in hospital? Además de las enfermeras, ¿quiénes más podrían trabajar en un hospital? Doctor. 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 Okay. Let's imagine instead of nor, here we have a doctor. Uh, where you are? Did you miss? Where are you? Where are you? Where, 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 where? You got lost? <laughs> oh, she disconnected. I think she disconnected, right? Oh, no, no, Daniela, okay. you, here you are. <laughs> Daniela, okay. Did you understand, right? Instead of a nurse, we're going to use a doctor. Uh -huh. Okay, let's start. A doctor. Uh, a nurse. No, no. In, in, instead of a med de, eh, a enfermera, vamos a utilizar el doctor. Va. A doctor. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. a, doc, a doctor. He, he, care for patient. Care for in, patient. Uh, hospital in a hospital okay thank you daniela for helping okay well uh jocelyn uh would you help us with one more example using these three categories that we were talking about just the check okay help us jocelyn at the count of three one two three Eh, siempre con con el eh, hospital mm, no 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 okay. Jocelyn you can choose any other one profession you can here we have we here we can change one of them we can change uh, carpenter and we can change him by we suppose we can use engineer right because it is related with the construction area Instead of carpenter, we're going to use an engineer, right? And we, we are going to use these two colors for, for helping. Okay? Uh, Jocelyn? Okay. Okay, uh, an engineer. An engineer is a... Uh -huh. a build. Of works in a construction, build houses. 
Yeah. Uh, As civil engineers build houses. Uh -huh. and for a construction, for a construction company. Okay, thank you, Yosani. I don't know if you already understand the idea how this is related with these three different columns in order to match each of, each of them. Yes, teacher, I understand. Okay, thank you, Yosani. I, I appreciate your help. And also, Daniela, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't be shy. We are here for four, four, four learning, right, guys? Okay, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Oh, who raised your hand? Wilfredo, do you raise your hand? Sorry, I didn't see you. Uh, traffic agents, guys, transportation on the city streets. Ah, well, well done. Thank you, Wilfred. Thank you. I really appreciate no your problem. help. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am observing something that you really are understanding what we are talking about with the with the topic. That is that is really good. Uh, I congratulate you guys because you are doing a great job. You are doing a very, very great job. A well done job. Okay, let's continue with the next slide conversation where do you work what does this mean guy for you where do you work where do you ¿Dónde work trabajas? henry where do you work henry in a pharmacy in a pharmacy thank you henry thank you daniela martinez do you hear me yes teacher where do you work daniela uh... How do you say the Pacho Contable? In a contable office. Uh, uh, a contable office. Mm -hmm. It might be a contable office. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you. Thank you. It's... What about pa, 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 pa. Marisol de Los Angeles? Where do you work, Marisol? Hello, Marisol. No, and in, in factory. You were in a factory. Okay. Yes. It, it applies. Thank you, Marisol. Blanca Stephanie. Hello. Where do you work, Blanca Stephanie? Hello, teacher. Hello. Eh, no sé si me puede escuchar, que aquí me está fallando bastante la señal. No hay problema. ¿A dónde trabaja Blanquita? But you can tell me in English. Where do you work? Mm, no sé cómo se pronuncia mercado. Mm, in an open market, let's say in the way we can apply here in, in our country, like an open market or a market. Let, we can call you on that way, mm. in a market. Okay? Yes. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see someone else. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Imelda, hello. Hello, Imelda. Hi. <laughs> Where do you work, Imelda? I um, I work I work I work uh-huh uh, how uh, uh, I work the uh, of the soul I can hear you well I don't know if you have problem with your microphone Come. I can hear you well. Um, no, no, uh, no, se, uh, no, le escucha muy bien. I, I work, I work. Uh -huh. no, I, Tell me in Spanish, I don't am, worry. I am... A teacher. A do you do you work? 
Oh, you are, you are like a, you were like a, a surfer instructor, instructor, right? Eh, como instructor yeah. de, 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 de surf. Uh -huh. Surf? Surf, surf instructor. Wow. Uh -huh. Surf instructor. Yeah, surf, right. Okay, thank you, thank you. Karina Beatriz. Are you there, Karina? Hi, teacher. Hi, Karina. What happened with your cat? Hello. Uh, hello. Karina. Hello, teacher. Hello. Where do you work, Karina? Hello. Hola, hola, hola. I, I hear you. La escucho, Me escucho, la escucho. teacher. Sí, 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 sí. Uh -huh. Where do you work? Uh -huh. Karina Beatriz. Hello. Teacher, ¿me escucha? Sí, ¿Hola? Sí, le escucho, sí le escucho, sí le escucho. Pero... Fíjese que inclu... he apagado incluso la cámara para ver si me ayudo, pero está difícil la señal. Ah, ok, don't worry, but you can hear me well, right? Me preguntaba en qué trabajo. Ya, ya, ya. Ok, I work in my, eh, how do you say granja? In a farm? How do you say my in my farm? No, you you, you you said granja, right? Granja. Granja. A granja of Catholic ganado. Se dice, se dice oh, gran, granja, granja. You 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 can you can say just farm, farm. A far apply mm -hmm. in different in different area in the agriculture area, mm -hmm. uh, raising uh, cows, cows and all different animals that I use for human consume. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Karina. Uh, Miguel Angel, where do you work, Miguel Angel? Hello, teacher. Hello, Miguel Angel. Where do you work, Miguel Angel? Work in the in a bank. Uh, do you work in a bank? Okay, thank you, Miguel Angel. Thank yes. you, thank you. Let's see who is missing. Who is missing? I don't know if I confuse Kaina, right? Kaina or Karina? Karina. 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 Oh, there's missing a letter. Karina. Karina Yamile, right? Okay, I Karina. Restaurant. Oh, I you work in a restaurant. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Rudo Emin, hello. On the bottom Karina of the screen. Karina Beatriz es la que le dije ahorita que acabo que trabajo. Okay, sí, sí, sí. Que, okay, ya, 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 ya la escuché. Gracias. Oye, negocio mucho. propio ahora. De... Ajá. Oh, negocio propio de, pero me dijo de granja. Le escuché granja en, en español, no sé si me equivoqué. Ok, va. Eh, let's continue. Ruth no de mí, hello. Eh, what do you work? Where do you work, eh, Ruth? Hello, teacher. Hello, Ruth. Um, Where do you work? Y, in a bookstore. Do you work in a bookstore? Oh. Yes. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you, Ruth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Anderson, what what's wrong with your camera? Anderson. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, what's wrong with your camera? Okay, yeah. ¿Qué problema tiene con su cámara, Anderson? Uh, por la señal que te, te ayudo. Ok, este, siempre, siempre es bueno, ¿verdad? Incluso aquí en el chat, este, eh, me han comentado, eh, Armando tenía un poquito de problema, Blanca Stephanie, este, Ingrid, conveniente, 
Ok, este... Siempre es, bueno que me, siempre es bueno que lo comente, ¿verdad? Porque de esa manera nosotros eh, hacemos ver a la institución el por qué el estudiante no estuvo con su cámara encendida. Porque como ustedes lo saben, parte de los lineamientos son siempre tener la cámara encendida y solamente encender el micrófono al momento de la participación, ¿verdad? Les agradezco mucho siempre Teacher. que... Me... Teacher. ¿Hola? Hola. En mi caso, Karina Beatriz, fíjese que yo siempre la entiendo, pero este día en especial, no sé, está tan malo el internet aquí donde estoy, que al eh, apagarla me da un poquito más la opción para estar pendiente de la clase. Sí, eso, eso, suele, eso suele pasar a veces en algunas áreas, o en algunas ocasiones cuando teníamos problemas con la lluvia, porque suele pasar así, son cosas que realmente pueden eh, verse que afectan en lo que es en el desarrollo o en la conexión también que ustedes tienen. Así que estamos al tanto. Les agradecemos siempre por comunicarnos eso. Well, guys, uh, here we have a conversation. Uh, Jason, between Jason and Andrea. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. It's a great, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. If you see right here, we have the... We, uh, Nelson, uh, would you... Uh, do you mind if you turn off your microphone? Because I don't, I don't know why I, ha I don't have the. Okay. No, it's already done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. And, and uh, Jason answer Hamburger Heaven. Here is the picture of how they describe the, the business of hamburger that is called Hamburger Heaven. I think they create this kind of uh, draw. Uh, because they saw at the moment that you buy a hamburger, you feel uh, that kind of sensation inside of you, like you were on heaven. In each bite, you feel, oh, you feel awesome. I know food is great. Who, who doesn't love food? Everybody loves food, right? Even yesterday, do you remember that we were talking about pupusas and tacos, right, guy? Who remember that? That we were talking about in the first class about pupusas and tacos. Yes. The pupusitas, right? With the curtido. Don't gonna tell me curtidation because curtidation. Uh, don't mayonnaise. Exist. Mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise and ketchup. <laughs> yeah. Mayonnaise. Are awesome. Are great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's continue, guys. Here we have the section of the grammar, of the grammar focus, right? Uh, simple present, double H question. Simple present. Here we have some question. Uh, what do you do? Here we have the possible answer. Here we have the subject that we can use. Here we can use I, here we can use you. Sorry. Here we can use I, we can use you, we can use he and she. And also the ways we're gonna work with each of the verb. If you use I or use you or the plural way, they or or we, the verb is going to be on the base form. What does this mean? The base form is the original form of the verb. As you can see right here, work. And if you use he or she, that that is mean that we are talking about uh, a third person, the bear always going to use the letter S right here, you see? Because this letter may emphasize to the third person. He or she, or some cases might be it, but it is a little, uh, it's not common use. It is not common use, but in some cases we can use it, but the most common are this one, he and she, and you see? The plural way or the first person, the verb goes in the base form. If you see, work, take, study, teach, do, go, and have. If you are working with verb in the third person, 
you add the letter S to each of the verbs that you're going to work after the subject. If you see right here, we have she, we have our, our verb right here, and working together with the third person, but adding the letter S to make emphasis to this one. Okay, and here we have this question. What do you do? The answer, I'm a student and I have a part-time job, okay? If you see, here we have the one of the four of the verb to be, that is am, am, I'm a student and I have, you see, the base four of the verb, if you see. Where do you work? I work at or in, you can use these two prepositions, at or in, or in, because these two prepositions are used in order to refer to a specific location or to a specific place, a restaurant, uh, in the bank, at the bar. Uh, in this way, we, we can use. And uh, we have the other question, where do you go to school? I go, if you see, we have the third person, I, I go to University of Texas. You see, the verb go is in the base form. Why? Because we have the first person, I. We can use goals because that doesn't apply and that never gonna be used because it's subject goes with the verb that the with who this one works. We are not going to use it with some other that doesn't apply in the structure. Never, 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 never. Everything has a rule. In according to that rules, it's going to be used or we're going to work with them. Here we have some other question. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. Where does she woman? Where does Andrea work? She work at Thomas Cook Travel. We have another one. What does she do? She's a guy. She's a guy. And she takes people on tours. If you see what we have here, how do you say this word that we have here that I'm showing you with the laser? How do we say? She. 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 And you see what 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 the bear has right here. What we were talking about the bear. What the bear has. Face. Face. The letter. The letter S. Yes. Why? Because we were saying that if we are talking about the third person, he or she. Or might be some cases the pronoun is <coughs> the verb that follows gonna use or we are going to put the letter S. 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 Um, right, we have some uh, we have some exception, but in this case uh, maybe we can talk about later uh, about that exception. Don't worry about that. Here we have the last question. How does she like it? She loves it. Guys, what can you what can you see here in this section of where the question are? What can you see right here? Let's see. W H question. Double H question. question. Okay. Who can tell me which one we have right there? Raise your hand, raise your hand and tell me. Who wants to tell me? Who wants to tell me, guys? Maria. Which one are the double question that we have here, Maria? Do you mind if you help us? Come on. Uh, what are the double questions that we have here in the questions? If you see right here, how do you say this one? 
No, no, just the, the first uh, uh, the first word, the, the double question. Right here is no. what? What 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 the, uh -huh. what and this one? Where? Where? Uh, this one in the same and how. How. how how we have here we have just uh three examples of that. But the, with the double question, we have uh, uh, some other. We have like why, we have uh, when, we have uh, we have which. who, which, and what else when. that I'm missing? When. Do ha we have when. But the grammar section of the book is just making emphasize of the three of them. It's making emphasis on what, where, and yeah. how. Yeah. How. But we how. have but we have Which? but we have some other in the WS question structure. Don't worry about that. We are going uh, to keep working in the module. In the following uh, section, maybe we're gonna use some other. Don't worry for that. But I I mentioning this because also apply here in this section with the double question, right? Okay, let's continue with the next page. Let's complete the conversation, then practice with a partner. Let's say right here. Here we have the number one, uh, student A and student and student B. If you if you see right here, we have the empty spaces. How we are going to complete the empty spaces? We're going to completely uh, remember or taking into account what we're talking about. We were talking about the double question. We were talking about the auxiliaries of the double question. In this case, does is an auxiliary verb that is applied with the third person that we were mentioned, like she and he. And do, that is also an auxiliary verb in this case, go with I and you, but if we are talking about an ascending and we mention just the third person, the verb that, the verbs that follows, we add the letter S. I don't know, it's a little bit clear what I'm telling you guys. Uh, I don't know if everything is clear. Eh, si, eh, si me han captado la idea, sí, sí. chicos, con respecto a esto. Soso. Lo vamos a hacer rapidito, así un poquito en, en español, ¿verdad? Para que les quede un poquito más, eh, más clarito. Tenemos las double question, ¿verdad? Las que tenemos para elaborar o hacer una serie de preguntas. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos aquí? Tenemos los auxiliares tú y tenemos das, que también ellos son verbos. Pero en este caso, cuando los combinamos con el double question, estos ellos funcionan como nuestros auxiliares. Solo en el caso en que ellos vayan al principio de una oración, ellos están trabajando como eh, in interrogantes para poder elaborar preguntas. Solo en esos casos. Pero en este caso que tenemos la double question más el helping verb, que es tú, para los plurales y das para las terceras personas, este va eh, como un auxiliar, pero después del double question. Si va al principio, está yendo, eh, está yendo siempre como un helping verb, pero cuando va al principio sabemos que él nos está diciendo que es exactamente una pregunta lo que se está elaborando ahí, ahí ¿verdad? Y en el caso también aquí de las oraciones, les hablaba de que he en chi son este son terceras personas entonces cuando trabajemos con los verbos de ellos, estamos hablando tenemos aquí un ejemplo si tenemos I o tenemos you el verbo que le va a, se le va a seguir el verbo que le va a seguir eh, será el verbo en su forma base en su forma base. ¿cuál es el verbo en forma base? el que no experimenta ninguna forma de cambio incluso si buscan en, una, en ejemplos de, de los tipos de los verbos les va a salir un ejemplo ahí arriba va a decir verb in base form y, y luego le va a salir ver in simple past en, en ver in past participle entonces esos son los cambios que experimentan los, los, los verbos verdad 
Y como lo vamos a ir viendo también, o recuerden algunas clases que estuvieron anteriormente, tienen verbos regulares e irregulares. Entonces, si tenemos la tercera persona, el verbo que le precede, en este caso, hablando del presente simple, le vamos a añadir S. Esa es la única regla y la única excepción. Eh, ¿Y describe, guys? Esta, ¿Les quedó un poquito? Yo estoy chido. Les quedó un poquito más claro ahí. Cualquier pregunta que tengan, aunque no la pueden estructurar en, en inglés, ustedes saben de que eh, estamos para ayudarles, mm. ¿verdad? Aquí esa es la idea. Todos estamos para apoyarlos, ¿verdad? Y esa es una de las principales razones por la cual eh, la institución y mi persona estamos, ¿verdad? Eh, let's continue. Sí, ya. Eh, who is talking? Eh, Armando. Armando, oh yeah, tell me, Armando, tell me. In this part, we don't have a day and we. Sorry, Armando. In this part, we don't have a day and we. Ajá, uh -huh. uh, yeah, that's what, eso era lo que estaba explicando en inglés. Example, what do, what, what do they do? Yeah, we can use it, but here we are just, fo just we are focused on this exercise, because if we focus on the other one, uh, the class is going to be a little bit longer. Uh, I, I consider that's why the book just make emphasis on these ones. But as I, as I mentioned to you, uh, we have some other, right? Eh, sería con, eh, for example, with S, works, for example. De, de los plurales. En el caso de they y we, eh, no, el verbo, siempre se, el verbo siempre seguiría en su forma base porque son plurales. Solo las terceras personas, en, que es she en he, es, estos van a ir el verbo añadidos con S. On, ah, on, y en it. En it, pero es... Eh, Súper raro. En ir va a ser solamente que usted se encuentre un texto, pero dejarlo por oración, oración, es bien difícil, porque por eso uh -huh. se le conoce ahí como otro pronombre. Entonces es para como no hacer una muletilla, para estar hablando de lo mismo, de lo mismo, de lo mismo. Entonces, en vez de eso, eh, ponemos it. It. Entonces, para, y sabemos que ese it may emphasize something that was mentioned already. Before that part in the center, o sea, algo que fue mencionado antes en la oración de ser usado el it, o sea, por eso este id es el pronombre y hace énfasis a algo que ya nosotros habíamos mencionado en nuestro texto en la oración en la cual estemos trabajando. Es un poquito más complicado saber a profundidad el uso de ello, pero solo les doy eso una media porque si nos introducimos más o una de dos, o le entendemos más o quedamos un poquito más así como como perdidito, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Pero Entonces... Teacher, entonces te está queriendo decir que la, la S se le agrega solo si estamos hablando de tercera persona, pero no cuando hablamos. Como de plural. En plural, ajá, como en, de, ni, we, como dice el compañero. O yo, no, ni en la, ni en la primera persona. Ni en la persona. Solo ni en la tercera persona. Ajá, o en, en este caso, como okay. nosotros sabemos que chi y he también son pronombres, entonces, she, ya sabemos que es ella. En vez de ella, yo puedo tener aquí Andrea Wars, but Andrea is a third person, es una tercera persona. En de sí. en the genre, el género dice que es femenina, o sea, ya nos acordamos nosotros, ajá, eh, Andrea, the gender, the gender eh, is she, it's third person, and the bird that goes with this one, And we're going to add just the letter S. Okay, right. What about he? Uh, we use uh, we use Armando. Ah, Armando uh, uh, goes with he because it's the, it's the pronoun and the gender is a man. Ah, everything match. Okay, okay. We're talking about the third person. Uh, what about the bear? Ah, okay. We're going to choose a bear. And what we're going to do with this verb? We are going to add the letter S. But uh, in this case, we also have some, some rules that are very long and very extensive that we have like a song exception that not all the verb can be used just only adding the letter S. We have, uh, we have uh, some changes that We can mention some of them right here, like this one, study. 
because eh, tenemos el, el verbo aquí de estudiar. Este termina en consonante. Por ende, cuando la regla dice, cuando el verbo termina en consonante y no en vocal, miren, vocal, A, I, O, U. Consonante son todas las demás que no entran. La regla dice que cuando termina en consonante, la modificamos por I, S, I, S, I, E, S. Entonces, este es una de las excepciones que tienen los verbos. Y hay muchos verbos con los cuales podemos hacer esos cambios, pero si nos metemos así, no terminamos hoy. Ah, no sé si les ha quedado un poquito claro la parte de aquí. Sí, yes. Yes, sí profe, solamente allí, por ejemplo, eh, donde dice, ¿Where does Andrea work? Eh, okay. ¿Where does acá, Andrea work? Sí, ahí right el work. El word no tiene la S, o sea, cuando es una pregunta, We don't se use... está, cuando se está usando WH, no. ahí no se le agrega la S al verbo. Ok, da, 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 uh, esa es una buena pregunta, Graciela, ¿por qué? En el caso de las preguntas, cuando yo ya tengo el uso de mi auxiliar aquí, el todo verbo que yo tenga después de mi auxiliar va a ir en su forma base, no va a ir ni con una S, no va a ir ni con ED, no, porque ya tengo aquí mi auxiliar, aunque esté trabajando con la forma double question, ya tengo aquí el DAS, por ende el verbo que le va a seguir queda en su forma base, y si usted, okay. se, y si usted, se, fija, y si usted se fija aquí, aquí no lo tengo, no tengo el DAS, entonces... Okay. Entonces, eh, se lo explico, eh, se les explico esto en español, chicos, para que me entiendan un poquito más a profundidad, ¿verdad? Y para que sea más rápido eh, eh, la aclaración, ¿verdad? Si ustedes fijan aquí, sujeto y verbo, entonces ahora añadimos ese. Lo que decía Ña Gra eh, Graciela era válido. Hey, teacher, ¿por qué no tiene ese? Porque estamos hablando de preguntas. Y tenemos DAS aquí, que él nos está funcionando como auxiliar. Y la regla nos dice que después del auxiliar, el verbo que le precede, o, muy, o mejor dicho, que le sigue, no le vamos a poner ese o ninguna modificación. ¿It is clear, guys? It's clear, teacher. Ok, yes, thank it's you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Sorry for being speaking a lot in Spanish, but I think or I consider in a good way which you can understand a little bit deeper because... Uh, hola? You don't pass late? No, we're going to do it at the end of the class. Ah, oh, okay. Because I forget at the beginning of the class. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. Thank you for remembering me that, Diana. Okay, let's, con uh, let's continue, guys. Uh, well, Everything is clear right here, and let's continue with the, I think this, oh no, we have another one. Okay. Uh, who wants to help me with the number, with the number one, in order to complete the empty spaces? Who wants to help me? Who wants to raise your hand? Who wants to help me? What do you do to school? What do you, what do you do? Uh -huh, Armando, continue. I'm a full-time student. I studied the uh, violin. 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 Uh -huh. And what do you do to school? Uh -huh. What do you do to school, right? I, I do to the New York. I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. New York School to Music. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh -huh. How? How do you How like, your, you classes? like uh, your classes? What do you like your classes? I love them. I love I, them. I love I them. them. Yeah, right, guys. I really, mm -hmm. I really like that because you are really paying attention. You're really clever, guys. You really are paying attention to everything what we were explaining. And that's really something that... I, I really appreciate it, make me happy. Thank you. What about the number two? Let's work in the number two, okay? What, what does Tanya do? What does, what does... Ah, what does Tanya do? Okay, you are, you are understanding. Thank, thank you, guys. She is... A... She? She? She is... No, what we, what we are talking about, the bears? She... It does. 
No. She. She teaches. She teaches. She works. She works. She works. She works. She works in art class. Art class. Art school. Oh, she teaches. Or we can use she teaches. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. That will be better. Thank you, Henry. That will be better. She teaches an art class at uh, school in Denver. That also can be applied. Two words are good. But in this case, it might be better teachers. Thank you, Henry. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's continue. Ryan. Uh -huh. uh, what about Ryan? Does he work? Where he does works. he work? Does he work? Where, where does, does he work? Where does he work? Uh, uh, does we are the, we are the, we are standing right, guy. Where does yes. he work? Uh, he works. He works. He works, 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 works for a big computer company. Big company. Big company. San Francisco. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. Uh -huh. What about here? What about here? What, 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 what does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. Designer. He, he loves it. He makes makes fantastic he makes web websites. Website. He makes or he makes. creates makes. or he creates makes. creates. Okay. okay. If you can hear the pronunciation Design. of the of the letter S at the end, creates. 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 You can hear how the word ends with the letter S. He creates, uh, he designs, he, which other word we can use here? Uh, another synonym. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes. Love. Makes. Makes. Mm -hmm. Makes okay. Let's keep it on that way. Okay. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, thank you for your help. Uh, I'm observing that you are really paying attention to what we're talking about. And uh, if you already noticed, uh, the majority of the rules are not like uh, confused. Just remember that when you are talking about those question in the simple present, we use this structure, everything goes according to this and that. That's the only thing that you have to remember. Remember that rule that says that is the verb and in the power song, you're just going to add the letter S or is the verb and in the consonant song, you add ES in order to change that verb to the simple present form, right? right? Okay, guys. And now we pass to the last slide, to the last slide, in order to finish the class. This is the last slide. Paywall, what do you know about this job? Complete the chart, the write sentence about this job. Okay, guys. Work for an airline. What do you know about these jobs? Work for airline. Pilot. Mm -hmm. Here, here we have pilot. Yeah. What else? Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Air control traffic. Controlador aéreo de tráfico también. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Receptionist. Receptionist also apply here. Yeah. Receptionist also work here. People uh, of cleaning. Oh, the cleaning guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They also yes. work there because every time the, the, the plane arrives the to the security. airport, uh, the plane arrives to the airport and the people leave the plane. Uh, after that, the the cleaning team uh, enters to the plane and cleans everything that was dirty. Okay, we can apply here the the cleaning guy or the or the cleaners. Uh, okay, 
What about assist passengers? Assist passenger. What we know about these jumps? What we know about assist passenger? A flight attendant might apply here. Mm -hmm. A flight attendant might apply here in, sure. in assist, yeah. asistiendo pasajeros. A flight attendant. Fly attendant, yes. Uh -huh. A fly attendant, my apply here. Because fly attendant is the one that helps people during the whole flight, serving food, helping helping them with some issues that they have in, during the flight, helping them with whatever inconvenience that it is presented during the flights, right? And that's what uh, assistant passenger does that is that is the function that is the function that he has to to do during the whole the whole the whole flight it is a hard work but they enjoy traveling because they know a different country not only us they know a lot of different countries but they never spend time at home that's the only hard part Okay, serves drinks. What do we know or what do you know about these jobs? Serving drinks. Waiter, Serving waiters, bartender. Waiters, bartender. Have you have you heard this word? Have you heard this word? Water guy. Aguatero. <laughs> <laughs> the water guy also apply here has a serve serve drinks. Yeah, the water guy is the one that keeps uh, hydrate the whole team. Yeah, during the games, uh, without water guy, the teams maybe gonna lose the game because they need to be hydrated. Yeah, that's what water guy does. Okay, what else? Who else? We say bartenders, waiters. What about the flight attendant? They might apply here. They serve drinks. Yes. Yes, they serve drinks. Delta show. Would you like a coffee cup? Would you like a glass of juice? Would you like a glass of water? Would you like to pay more for your food? <laughs> That's everything what a flight attendant tells you. Because in some flights you pay for your food, and in some others you don't pay nothing. But in some other flight, they don't give you food. <laughs> yeah, that that are some of the bad part of, of of flying. But you enjoy, but you enjoy flying. I don't know if has someone flies. Um, the one of, of the group are I don't know if someone has already fly. O se ha subido un avión. Uh, in order to remember this the serving that the whole crew uh, made during the flight. Es un proceso, o sea, bien, bien, bien complicado y, y, y largo, verdad, y estresante a la vez, creo, porque En el caso de los eh, de los fly attendants o los sobrecargos, este es un trabajo a veces muy muy agobiante porque ellos eh, they are like a how do you uh, how do you what is this the the the, the assistant guys the the customer service los chicos de de, de servicio al cliente es eh, similar to something like that o sea es algo que se parece demasiado a ellos o sea, Porque en el avión ustedes no crean que, ah, que porque la gente puede pagar un vuelo, ahí va gente de cuenta. En un avión se pueden topar con mil diferentes tipos de personas, se pueden topar con una persona que está incluso porque le tocó el hombro sin querer, se sintió ofendida, uh, o sea, no crean que jolas en el bus. Eso también pasa en los aviones y han dado casos de gente que se, que se ha peleado también en los aviones y los han tenido que bajar. Entonces, así pasó un señor, nos dieron la noticia que se puso borracho en el avión e insultó a una señora en un vuelo que Pero iba... Pero en el bus no hay accidente, Tiche. 
<risa> ah, no, allá en la 44, ah, no. la, 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 la 154. Pregúntele a Armando. <risa> ah, allá están al orden del día. <risa> ok, guys. Uh, in order to finish this, uh, well, we have the final section. Ask your partner question like about this one, war. What do you do? We already mentioned about this one. Where do you live? Do you study? Where? And some of you already mentioned where do you live, right? Some other already mentioned me that if you were studying. Some other already mentioned where they were. Some other mentioned how do you like whatever thing. I can tell you how do you like soup? How do you like coffee? And you can tell me coffee likes, or I prefer coffee, a hot coffee, or I prefer a hot soup. And that are, on that might be the possible answer. What's your favorite? That might be what is. What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite food? What's your favorite season oh, no. of, of the year? What is your favorite month? In this case, guys. What is your what is your favorite month of the year? Tell me. November. No, oh. it's January. <laughs> February. January, because nobody has money after the Christmas. November. <laughs> the carnival. Oh, November, the carnival. For some 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 people love November due to the carnival here in summer. Oh, yeah, and some other love Christmas because in Christmas you eat a lot of uh, chicken bread o los famosos panes con pollo. Los famosos panes con pollo que hacemos nosotros los salvadoreños con pechuga de gallina india. Los migueleños. Los migueleños. <laughs> no. <laughs> ok, bye. Este, <laughs> les agradezco enormemente, chicos, las disculpas del caso que nos pasamos un poquito, ¿verdad? Pero este, los que me mencionaron que ya se tenían que ir, pues este, nomás regálenme el, el nombre, ¿verdad? Permítame que se que no, aquí están los puntos, no los miraba, ya me, ya me quedé choco, dije. Ya me había quedado choco. Vaya, pasemos listita así rápido. Disculpen, chicos, porque hasta este momento fue que pasamos. La asistencia. Vaya. Eh, eh. E hice ese cuadro. Permítame, chicos. Eh, ay, Dios. Aquí está. Creo que los, los, los de Regin. Los de Regin, creo. Creo que no. No, no es eso. Permítame, chicos. Vamos a ver. Aquí está el mío. Aquí está el mío. Ok. Sí, así rapidito, chicos, rapidito. Mil disculpas por ello. Vaya, Ana, Ana Graciela, sí estaba, ¿verdad? Ajá, este, Anderson, sí estaba, ¿verdad? Ay, Participó. Yes. Armando, sí estaba. Blanca, mm -hmm. Stephanie. Present. Ok, Karina, Beatriz. Ella estuvo, pero ya se fue, Tiche. Sí, me comentó ajá, el mensaje. Carlos Aníbal. Carlos Aníbal. Estuvo presente, en, en, si no me fijé si él estuvo por eso. No. Uh -huh. Vale, pero igual ayer no estuvo tampoco. Hay que comunicarnos con... Eh, soporte se va a comunicar con él para ver qué le estará sucediendo. Daniel Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Diana, are you there? Uh, no. <laughs> eh, Elsa Noelia, ok. I'm here. Eh, Floricia, right there. And what about Henry? Was was there, right? I'm here. Henry, Ingrid, Ingrid Esmeralda. Um, yes, I'm here. Okay, Jaime Iván. Here. Thank you. What about Jocelyn Alicia? I'm here. Okay, Karina Yamilet. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Carla Gabriela. Eh, Carla, Gabriela. Carla. Creo que Carla, no sé si fue acá. 
No, Carla no mencionaba. La señorita Carla no menciona nada. Sí. Ok. Mencionamos aquí. La señorita Carla no menciona nada de irse. Eh, María Imelda. Hola. No está María Imelda. Ok. Este, María sí, Wendy. Estuvo. Es la que trabaja de surfista. Oh, sí va. Sí, 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 sí. Ya. Yeah. Sí, 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 sí. Pero, chicos, que no. Porque creo que es. Se me movió el día. Ya decía yo, porque andaba perdido, me movió muy el día. Ah, la de Surfer Girl, right? Ah, Marisol de Los Ángeles. Present. Sí, sí, ok, thank you. Eh, Miguel, Miguel Ángel Clemente, si sí estuvo, ¿verdad? Este, sí, Nelson. Sí, Nelson. Sí, no me lo mencionó. A decirle a Giriba cuando dijeron que la muchacha era la que trabajaba de surfista. Ah, Marimelda, usted, ¿verdad? María Wendy. Ajá. No, aquí está María Wendy Guadalupe, aquí está, presen. ¿Sí? Ajá. Presen, presen, ahí está María Wendy Guadalupe, presen, dice. Eh, Nelson Rutilio. Present. Ok, thank you. Eh, eh, Romel José. Present. Ok, este, Ronald Alexander. Present, dice. Ok. Eh, Rosa Elizabeth, parece que sí va. La señora Rosa Elizabeth. Who is, who is Rosa Elizabeth? I don't remember what. Bruno de mí. I am here. Ah, thank you, thank you. And Wilfredo Alberto. I think that he, he was he was there. Oh, Wilfredo Alberto. Wilfredo Alberto, I think he was there. Well, guys, uh, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for attending the class. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being present during the class. And I really appreciate your participation. This was everything for today's class. I hope to see you the day of tomorrow. God bless you and have a good night and sweet dream and recover your energy for tomorrow's day. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.